welcome Amazon Lit. supposed to say? Yeah, appreciate it. Now, why did I do that? To change your mental and physical state, right? Because when you're sitting here, maybe a little uncomfortable. A lot of people don't know people here. Some people might not know anybody. Right? You just see us, you're like, okay, I'm interested in Amazon or I'm already selling on Amazon. Let me check out this event. It's why everybody gets super uncomfortable here today. That's the name of the game. Growth happens in the uncomfortability phase. So we're all going to get real uncomfortable. Who's down to get uncomfortable today? Raise your hand again. Woo! All right, louder. Raise your hand and say aye. Woo! Oh, fantastic, everybody. Thank you. Everybody take a seat. We're going to get right into this here. So exciting. So first of all, I want to give a shout out to Wizards of Econ. Can you get a round of applause? We appreciate all of you and all the guys who came to help. We got Alex, we got Mike, we got Gabe, and we got so many other people here. Right? This event took a little while to put together, so let's give them a round of applause too. Thank you so much. It's all of you, it's all of you so give all, all of you a round of applause. It's been a long week. I'm not going to be able to talk by tomorrow, but I'm okay with that, right? It's all about sacrifices. So we're excited to be here. We got a hell of a presentation. It's going to be pretty wild, but why don't we talk a little bit about the early times, Sebastian, what it was like early on growing our business and like that, those growth phases, right? Like that first couple thousand dollars in sales, what that look like for you? You know, first of all, the reason we do this is because we understand what it's like starting small or having zero information and not knowing where to look for the correct information. There's a lot of misinformation out there, and so why Eric and I became so prevalent on social media, more Eric than I, but became so prevalent on social media is because there was a lack of correct information out there. And it's scary. When you go into a business, no matter what business, not just Amazon, any business, you're taking a risk. It's very scary. There's a lot of fear of failure, but then there's the other side, what drove us and what's probably driving you is the fear of never trying and never knowing if you would have found success. And so we're here to talk about a lot of the ways that we succeeded. Because early on, when, you know, for that first thousand dollars for me was more inspiring than the first hundred thousand. Because the first thousand showed us that, hey, this thing really works. As long as I put the work in and I keep going, this thing will work. So that first thousand, I think, was more of an aha moment than the hundred thousand and even a million. Awesome. So let's do a little poll here real quick. I want to kind of gauge the audience here. So who here is completely new, never sold a product on Amazon? Show of hands. One, two, three, four. We got about six, seven of you. So brand new, right? We got about seven of you. Who here is going between uh, zero dollars and a hundred thousand dollars per month on Amazon? Yes. All right, two, four, six, eight, nine, twelve, fourteen. I've got about twenty. And now, who's doing um, zero? What was that? A month or a year? A month. Oh, okay. 
I know it's a big gap, but we're only going to do three. <laughs> <laughs> we're only going to do three. It's like you're starting now, for seven figures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Hundred um, K plus. Now we're going to take it even one step further. Who's doing more than a million dollars a month on Amazon? One, two. Awesome. <laughs> One million. Do we queue up that Wayne track? No. <laughs> um, we got two. Right? So regardless of where, why did I do this? Right? Not to call anybody out. Right? Because we're, when you're running a business, you're going to experience all of these stages if you continue to grow. Right? We're all new at some point in our business. Sebastian and I were brand new in his basement, lugging UPS boxes into his uncle's minivan. Taking them every single day. How was that for you? You remember doing that? Of course. Awesome. It's part right? of the driving factor. It's part of the driving driver. factor. Understanding the ins and outs of your business. So we're all new, and then we start hitting this phase, right? Doing ten thousand a month, fifteen thousand a month, twenty thousand a month. You start paying off some of your bills, some of your car loans, maybe helping your family out, taking care of your children. That shit's exciting to me, right? That's when you really see, like, oh my God, there's an opportunity here. And then you, and then you reach these levels, right? Like these thirteen people here. And now you're like, holy shit, my life's changing. This is life-changing money. You know, and then you break this, right? If you keep putting in action, keep taking initiative, you break this number a month. And now you're like, oh my God, this is crazy. I used to be flipping products out of my basement. Now I got all these employees and I'm able to go travel around the country while my business operates. Right? So these are all different phases of your businesses that will happen if you take action. I promise you that. So right here. 10%, right? This is it. We're not talking about margins here. Right? This is like wholesale gross margin. Right now, all of you are part of the top 10%. Does anybody know why that is? Because we're here. Took action, right? So only 90% of people will never attend an event like this. 90% of adults will never attend an event like this. So everybody here is already part of the top 10%. Right? Because how can you tell who a person is, right? Is it is it what they say? Is it their hopes and their dreams? Is that how you can tell a person is? If I, if I stand up here and you don't know me, right? you don't know me from a hole in the wall and I meet you outside and I tell you I'm gonna be a millionaire one day, or I'm, I'm gonna take care of my family, I'm gonna move my parents out, out of their small house and move them to a bigger house, but you don't know me from a hole in the wall, what would you think? Like, uh, maybe, maybe this guy's gonna do it, but I don't know. Right? So what really separates is action. Because right? people can talk a lot of talk, but it's all about taking that action, taking that initiative. That's what separates the winners from the non-action takers. Right, 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 Paul moves, because nobody's a loser. The non-action takers and the winners. That's what separates us here. So, who, first I want to do a little poll again. Who came, I want to see, if you came from really far, raise your hand. Like, really far. Where'd you come from? New Hampshire. New Hampshire, okay. Georgia. Georgia, that's not really far. Come on, are you right here? Where are you? Where? Houston, baby, what about you? New York, okay. San Francisco. Okay, oh, you. you Damn! <laughs> New York. Anybody else who beat San Francisco? Come see me after I got you on a shirt, my friend. Thank you so much for coming out. And thank you all for coming out. We appreciate you taking the time. You know, how many people came out just for this, right? Don't live in the, in the Miami area. They came out just for this. See, that should be exciting. That should be exciting, my friend. We're gonna cover a lot of stuff today. Don't stay out of your business. All that good stuff here. All that good stuff. And we're gonna cover something super important, right? So if you have a pen and a pad, I encourage you to take notes here. Because we're gonna be talking about the transformation block. Nobody's ever heard of this. How do I know nobody's ever heard about the transformation transformation block? How do we know nobody's ever heard about this? This is this is what we created. <laughs> this is what we use in our own business. This is our blueprint from where we went from the start to where we are today. Yeah. So nobody's heard of it because we literally designed this process. Facebook. Cool. Right? You might have heard parts of it, and you're going to be able to put pieces of the puzzle together. But the information you're hearing today, eventually, I want to like talk about it all that up for. We want to provide as much value as possible. At the end of the day, we're we're value driven people. So I know I wake up every morning, I roll out of my bed onto my knees, thank God for another day, and I think like, how can I be of maximum service to to my the God of my understanding and my fellows, right? To all of you, how can I be of maximum service? How can I deliver as much energy and value as possible? What do you do when you wake up in the morning? Uh, there's a few things to my daily routine. First of all, I love to get up early. And what we're gonna get into, understand that your business, no matter how much we cover here, is gonna always depend and parallel 
to you. Meaning that the more you grow, the more you get uncomfortable, the more you change and adapt, so will your business. Do not think that anything that we do today, if you're not building on yourself and taking action, your business will, will not change. So this is a transformation block right here. Right? I'm going to redraw it right here. I want you all, if you've got pens and pads, please draw this. If not, take a picture. Right? So I'm going to go over here. Where you go. Right? So it's a transform transformation block. It's pretty straightforward, right? This is the TTP. Right? And this first box is your IOs. Your second box is your EOs. Everybody can see that? This third box is your ROs. And then your fourth box is your four Ps. And we're going to dive deep into all this, right? We're going to break down what the internal operations means, the external, the relationship opportunities in the four positions, so you can further understand that. So 28% of businesses fail, right? That's a lot, right? Some of them fail in the first year, the rest fail in year two and three, and then half of those fail in year five, right? So you need to take continued action to continue to innovate in your systems. Because while other people are changing their businesses and moving forward and understanding Amazon's terms of service, who loves to Amazon terms of service? Raise your hand and say hi. <laughs> Nobody? Oh, come on. Hi, she does. Vanessa does. Awesome. Fantastic. Somebody does, right? So you got to understand these ins and outs of the processes. How important is it to understand that information? It's the difference between having a successful business or not. So we're going to be covering deeper to that. And you have to understand 72% of the businesses fail. And the reason they fail is exactly what we're going to become. So please take notes, you know, take pictures, and understand how you can grow your business. Don't let fear get in the way, because all of you can succeed. It's just about changing, and that's what we're here to provide. Yeah, so this is our DOB right here. Not like my actual work there. 7-11-2013. <laughs> uh, so almost eight years ago, we're coming up on our eight years ago. What are we going to do? We're going to Bali for a later. Just work for them. <laughs> Just work for them. So this is a little bit about the early times and, and what we learned over the years in developing our processes within our systems, right? So some of you, how many, how many have their own, whether it's a storage unit, something other than your house or a prep center that you are packaging in inventory? Show of hands. So warehouse, um, storage unit. Okay, garage. All right, now how many of you still operate this business out of your house? Okay. And now how many do not do either of those and use a third party prep center? Okay. All right, great. So this is like that first phase when you move into your first place. It can be very confusing, right, Sebastian? Absolutely. I have no idea. Actually, in the first place, this is, this is our second. In the first place, right at the beginning, I just had cardboard on the floor and I was stacking the products on the floor. And that's where you slept too, right? On the cardboard. And it's now where I slept. <laughs> that's where I had. Um, and then we had Vinny Dunn. You remember Vinny? Yeah, all right, Vinny Dunn then. Yeah, I gave him a notebook and I, he said, what should I do? I gave him a notebook and I said, count the inventory. It's probably like 100 units. I said, count the inventory. I, you know, I just didn't know where to go. And so I spent a lot of time learning how to develop the business and you know, all of you should not only take action, but continue to learn, which obviously you are because you're here, you're part of that 10%. Absolutely, part of that 10%. So this is what our second place looked like. Um, and, and these are real tables, by the way. I don't know if you can see real tables, but this is what it looked like, right? So in the, in the morning, we would have, you know, whatever, seven, 10 employees we came, and they would all go to this little section and they'd grab one of those fold-up Costco tables. You know what the tables we're talking about, right? The little lunch tables, and they'd grab one and they'd pick a corner. Right? That's why I have these tables just everywhere. They'd pick a corner, and then in the back corner, we'd have the bachata section, and in this corner, we'd have the hip hop, and then over here, we'd have the country, because there's no organization. Everybody just did whatever they wanted to do, and we were cool with it, because we didn't know. We didn't know, like, do you know how much money we're losing by not having processes in place? So we just kind of winged it. That was fun, though. It was, uh, it was cool listening to music and stuff. We, and we, stuff. Needed, we went through that so we could get to where we are, and because at that early stage, we didn't have a mentor. We'll get into later on, who we found and others that we found that helped us scale, transform ourselves faster. All of you can do it yourselves, but it's about do you want to take five years or one year to get your business to the next level? Absolutely. So then we went from this, right? We went from this to this. A little more organized, 
right? So we had production stations. No more, no more picking tables up and going wherever you want, right? I want to cut that time out. No more listening to 50 different types of music. You get one type of music and you share it every day, right? Because I'm all about company morale. How important is company morale? Exactly. So important, right? So I want my, my employees and our employees to be happy, dancing a little, laughing, joking, because their happiness means my business is growing. The more they get paid, our business is growing. It's all value right there. So this is what we did, right? This is in warehouse number what? Three or four? One of them. Four, right? So we set up these production stations and the products would come in to this other warehouse, which is the warehouse you saw in the previous uh, photo. They would come in this way, we would stage them in front of each production station, and then we would funnel them back out the other door. And it would just be like a circle, in one door, out the other, in one door, out the other. And here, what, what were we producing a day here? Maybe? Three, I think 3,000. 3,000 units a day out of this, this operation, with one, two, three, four, four production stations. Now, who here has production stations that look similar to this? Okay, one, two, three, four. Awesome. Fantastic. Right? That's the growth opportunity. So changing up your systems a little bit, getting uncomfortable, and switching it up to streamline your efficiencies. And we're going to get into that a lot. But now we got this. This is what we look like today. Right? These are two of our production stations. This is about six hours of sped up operation in our warehouse. There's another three stations that you can't see. And remember what Eric just said, he, we had four total stations in time <coughs> producing about 3,000 ACs a day. Now we have five stations where we are, and we produce 15,000 a day almost. Yeah, 15,000 ACs a day get produced. So how many people want to grow their business and, and pump more units out? Raise your hand and say aye. Uh, aye. Well, I can't hear you. Raise your hand and say aye. 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 Awesome, fantastic. Right now, keep in mind, this did not happen overnight. Absolutely not, it didn't happen overnight. This took lots of long nights, early mornings, late nights, you know, family calling, hey, E, you coming home, hey, Sebastian, you coming home? It's like, no, baby, I'm still at the office. I'm going to be here until probably 3 in the morning. We're changing our system, right? So we make sacrifices early on. Fortunately, our families were able to understand that. What'd they say? You know, communication is key when it comes to growing your business. You've got to be on the same page with people that you're working with and your family. How important is family? Raise your hand if you think family is important. Absolutely, family is important. Right? How many have kids in here? Awesome. Awesome. How special is that feeling having a little kid? Woo! That's amazing. Right? That's something my mom tells me all the time. She's like, Eric, is the best I'm so proud of him. <laughs> She's like, how's it feel to have four beautiful kids? Does it have four? He's actually building our team. That's, like, that's the 2025 team, right? So that's it. Yes. Yeah, so I, I know Sebastian works his ass off because he wants to provide for those little kids, you know, little, little beauties. One of, one of his kids is, is my godfather. And, uh, it's just amazing. It's amazing to be able to provide. So we're going to talk about the IOs, the first option here, internal operations. 